Good afternoon on the Empty Skull Ranch. As you notice, I'm on my golden elevator, my glass elevator, like Willy Wonka. <laughs> Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. I have to re <laughs> reel myself in. Anyway, here we are working on the building some more. Since we talked last, I apologize for how much this is moving. I gotta try to get off of the scissors lift. It isn't my glass elevator, it is a uh, scissor lift. Um, mm -hmm. A little less eventful. It would have been a little bit more whimsical if it was a... Coming soon though, you never know. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the progress we have completed on this here building. As you see, there's still no roof. That's, whoa, that sun was loud. So that is coming, hopefully on Sunday. I worked two doubles in a row, so that kind of puts a damper on the whole building process, but it's coming. So hopefully on Sunday, I can put the hammer down and really just start slinging some panels up there because it really shouldn't be that bad. Just a matter of putting down Insulation, panel, panel, insulation, panel, panel. Rinse and repeat. So let's go take a look at the building. So basically what I've gotten done here is this. Got the uh, door all framed in. Not too shabby. There's a couple of little spots where it gave me a little bit of a headache, but down uh yeah namely this panel so word to the wise sorry i'd move the camera quick again try to get you guys out of that sun but uh so word to the wise anyway if anybody out there is planning on building one of these um it isn't rocket science i know this but it's just a volume of work and somewhere along the line these panels get scuffed up and um you know just made sure of the beast i guess but this panel right here was a bear. It was a total nightmare. The, uh, where it corresponds with the next one right here at this seam, it's uh, right here. So uh, it was actually this panel right here, come to think of it, because it's got the little bulge in it. But it didn't help that the insulation was all, had gotten water in it and it was frozen in some spots. So that was against, that was against me as well. But after a lot of twisting and I had Mr. Bones holding this thing for God knows how long. And uh, I did cut that relief cut up there. It's really hard to see from over here, but at that top corner, there is a relief cut where uh, the header trim meets the jam trim. And um, it overhangs a little bit to shed water. And you gotta grind in a little recess in there and um, then uh, you got to mate the panel with the insides of the jam trim and uh, the insides of the header trim. And a um, little easier said than done. It's, in, if you don't get those cuts just right, you can get, the, uh, get that header trim right into that little slit. Um, it's got to fight you the whole way. I had right here, as you can see, it goes inside on a high spot. So I had to cut back on this panel obviously but kept cutting back and it felt like i was never getting enough room i kept pushing this thing that way and it wouldn't go wouldn't go because there's these little tiny burrs on the edge of the jam trim and uh let me see if i have a piece of that to show you ah, i do i don't know if this piece will have them on it but it's uh inside of here Actually, this is a pretty clean piece right here. But that lip right here on the inside, some of this has burrs where the stamping was. So it curls over and then it grips the panel as it slides in and it doesn't allow it to go. So that is a nuisance all on its own. And um, But as you can see, the inside of that is accommodating. It's about a about the height of one of those corrugated lumps on there. But enough on that one topic, because that was truly a nightmare for me. But got it done nonetheless. So 
Also, as you'll notice, the lack of insulation right there, it's uh, intentional. Those panels are very difficult to put in when you're alone and um, trying to push the panel towards the frame and then trying to J curl the insulation in the inside of it. It's just difficult to do that. And um, also hold your impact gun in one hand and uh, and uh, kind of drive it all home. So I left it void as you can see. And on this one as well, it's, uh, I have the stuff. I'm just gonna place it in there once the building's complete, just to complete that, um, just to complete the insulation. But as you can see, out here, it is, there's my wood tent for all the cordwood, but same situation over here. And uh, can't really see it all that, all that well on this one either, but those little burrs that exist inside of here are enough to really mess with this stuff. But I got the corner trim on right here. Yeah, those little pieces of... Uh, I love that they wrap this stuff to keep it safe in transit. Um, you know, from getting superficial scratches on it. And uh, the thing that sucks, though, is when you're on a time crunch and you're trying to do stuff, it is so time-consuming to pull that film off of every piece of trim. But nonetheless, it protects it while it's in transit, so that's the important part. So this wall is a little, little less eventful. Uh, you've already seen this in a prior video, but figured I'd show it again. Um, but here we go. Let's do a full spin and take a look at what we have going on in here. And up there to over here. So, and as you can see that walk door got incorporated according to plan got the insulation around that pretty well this side wasn't quite enough to make that tab go in there so when the next sheet came down subsequently i had a leg this side but check this out i know i can't believe it myself that door is perfectly level it stays put wherever you leave it a little bit of wind right now but nonetheless you know a little bit of deflection but hell i have doors in my house that when you let go of them they go oh, oh man or anyway you get the point <laughs> Sound effects, maybe not necessary, but anyway, uh, let's take a little step back from the building and see what it looks like from the driveway. I really wish it had a roof on it, but there it is. That's how it stands right now. And as you can see up here, I am working on getting some of that eave trim put on. I did get gutters supplied with this building, but given the time crunch that we're in right now, I didn't, uh, I opted to go with the eave trim for now, at least for the winter. I can always revisit it. I have the gutters and the downspouts. I can put them together. Just a matter of uh, popping those out and um, throwing the gutters on if I really wanted to put them on. But I think I'm gonna stick with eave trim for now. And, uh, all the little foam inserts underneath there. Can't really see them from down here, but I think that's what I'm gonna stick with for now. And uh, maybe throw some rocks down here, get this, uh, to keep the uh, cast off, all the rain that will uh, cascade off the roof and then hit the ground to keep it from eroding, eroding, um, all that. But anyway, that's where we're at. Figured I'd give you guys a shout. I know my last video was posted recently, but I had a lot of that footage that I had to get onto a video anyway. I didn't want to have a big gap in between the progress time for you guys. But if I can think of anything else to throw in there, a little uh, tips and tricks. But uh, definitely worth having a good circular saw. 
with a metal cutting blade on it for those long straight cuts because this stuff eats grinding wheels like literally eats grinding wheels and um so good thing to have one of those uh good a decent decent one that's designed for metal cutting so that it has the right rpms and all that science but that is a very key thing to have <laughs> but as you see that corner stuff really ties the building together kind of gives it that Hutzvah, that, uh, but anyway, um, that's where we're at. See you guys next time on the Empty Skull Ranch.